शमीशान निर्वाण रूप विभु व्यापक ब्रह्म वेद स्वरूप निज चलकुंठल शंबुनेत्र विशाल प्रसन्न नीलकंठम दयालु मृगादीश चर्माबर मुंडमल प्रिय शंकर
Vinne o 
The fundamental difference between Dhyana Linga and other Lingas that you normally see uh, everywhere is, one thing is this Linga is not made for worship, that is why it is referred to as a Dhyana Linga, it is a meditative force. There is no worship, there is no ritual, there are no offerings for the Dhyana Linga. All that you are required to do is sit there quietly, the temple is in total silence, and one has to just simply sit there to experience and imbibe the energies of Dhyana Linga. Once a person is in the sphere of Dhyana Linga, he cannot escape the sowing of the spiritual seed of liberation within himself. It is a spiritual process, but people invariably need material help and benefit, so those aspects have also been handled as an expression of the exuberance of the seven chakras, but fundamentally Dhyana Linga's energies are primordial in nature. It is oriented towards the spiritual well-being of a human being. Once you sit in the sphere of the Dhyana Linga, you are touched on the etheric level of who you are. There are five basic bodies within you or there are five sheets to your body, the physical body, the mental body, the energy body, the etheric body and the bliss body. Dhyana Linga influences a person who comes into its sphere on the level of the etheric body. And if you bring about a certain transformation through the physical body or the mental body or the energy body, these things can be lost in the process of life, in the course of life. But once a person is touched on the level of his etheric body, which is what we refer to as initiations, powerful initiations are done on the level of the etheric body. Once a person is touched on this level, it is forever. 
Even if he goes through many lifetimes, this seed of liberation will wait for the right opportunity to sprout and flower. Dhyanalinga is a tremendous possibility for the world today. As you see today, like never before, there is a spiritual longing in people worldwide. As the spiritual longing and thirst arises in human beings, wherever they may be, irrespective of time and space, the energies of Dhyanalinga will become available to them as a spiritual ignition as a spiritual guidance and a spiritual force which will lead them on. It is not essential that all of them have to come here and sit in the temple. If within a human being, a longing to know, a longing to grow, a longing to go beyond his present limitations arises, the energies of Dhyanalinga will naturally reach.
त्रिदलं त्रिगुणाकारं त्रिनेत्रं च त्रियायुधं त्रिजन्म पापसंहारं एकबिल्वं शिवार्पणं अखंडबिल्वपत्रेण पूजिते नंदिकेश्वरे शुद्ध्यंति सर्वपापेभ्यो एकबिल्वं शिवार्पणं शालिग्राम शिलामेखां विप्राणां जातु चार्पयेत सोमयन्य महापुन्यं एकबिल्वं शिवार्पणं दंति कोटे सहस्राणि वाजपेय शताणि च कोटि कन्या महादानं एकबिल्वं शिवार्पणं लक्ष्म्यास्तनुत उत्पन्नं महादेवस्य च प्रियं बिल्ववृक्षं प्रयच्छामि एक बिल्वं शिवार्पणं दर्शनं बिल्ववृक्षस्य स्पर्शनं पापनाशनं अघोर पापसंहारं एक बिल्वं शिवार्पणं काशी क्षेत्र निवासं च कालभैरव दर्शनं प्रयाग माधवं दृष्ट्वा एक बिल्वं शिवार्पणं मूलतो ब्रह्मरूपाय मध्यतो विष्णुरूपिने अग्रत शिवरूपाय एक बिल्वं शिवार्पणं त्रिदलं त्रिगुणाकारं त्रिनेत्रं चत्रियायुधं त्रिजन्म पापसंहारं एक बिल्वं शिवार्पणं